Welcome to the All Plan Quick Start Lesson 8 Engineering Views and Sections. In this lesson, we're going to start from the model created by the architect. Should you want to create this model yourselves, then you should start with Lesson 1 from the All Plan Architecture Quick Start. The model may look nice and realistic, but we engineers need to be able to isolate the structure of elements from a complex model. Allplan offers clear and powerful tools that control and filter information. One tool is the building structure where all information is stored in separate drawings. This allows the engineers to deactivate surrounding and furnishing and to maintain only the relevant drawings. These drawing combinations can be saved and loaded as favorites in order to be more efficient. Now we can visualize the building model only, but at a closer look, we still have wooden finishes and other architectural elements like windows, and we would like to clean these as well. To do that, we have to open the Layers tab and change the status of the layers. We will look for non-structural layers and we will make them invisible. It's easier just to load the favorite that contains only the structural elements and we get instantly a cleaned model perfect for structural engineers. To create the grid system, we have to go to the option called Axis Grid and we will load a favorite to match our office standard. Then we have to click on the top left corner of our building and confirm the angle with an Enter. Creating an associative view is very easy. All we have to do is go to the engineering module and click on Create View, which we can find under the tab Reinforcement Views. We select the model and we click from where we're looking towards the model. So if I go to the west, the software will generate a west view for me. I can choose whatever is written within the title of the view. Let's do that again. This time we select the model, we click South, and that's all. We can now place the representation of the South view, and we'll also place the grids, and we'll choose a proper title for it. These are orthogonal views. However, creating a free view is just as easy. We simply select Free, select the model in an isometric view, or any view, and place it in our plan view. Then we can decide the title of this view and place this title over the representation. Although these views look nice and aesthetic, we engineers use sections for detailing of structures. Creating an associative section is just as easy. We can select any view of the model, indicate the view direction. This side work to position the clipping right and the view. The result will have automatic dimensioning. The automatic dimensioning tools allow you to launch a line that will measure all intersecting structural elements. It works perfectly under any angle. Another brilliant tool is the wall dimensioning. This tool will measure the walls and the openings, including the heights and general dimensions. Any element in all plan is full of attributes, 
and just by right-clicking, we can place associative labels that display the desired information. Any changes to the 3D model will update the labels automatically. To prepare a layout, we will go to the Layout Editor. Setting the page is very intuitive and we can simply load the favourite according to our office standard. The favourite will set up the border, the folding lines and even a smart title block. We'll insert the drawing we previously created on the paper space. The title block will contain project, drawn information and an attributes that are configured in the office standard. To export this drawing for our client, we will click on Export to PDF. All information is exported perfectly, just like we previewed in All Plan Layout. In our next lesson, we will learn how to generate parametric 3D reinforcement for our model.